Are you on a budget and are looking for a power head for your new reef tank and are wondering how you can make something like these awesome little multifunction pumps work in your aquarium? This video is going to show you how to do that. Hi, I'm Richard from The Beginner's Reef and I'm here to help you succeed with your saltwater aquarium by providing you with great information, awesome resources and really helpful tips. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and anything I mention in this video, you can find in the links below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I've got a great beginner's tip that I hope you'll find really helpful. So if you're new to salt water, but you've been in fresh water for many years, you are probably familiar with the style of powerhead. They are small multifunction pumps that are used for powering under gravel filters or providing you with some kind of water movement. And they're really good in the reef tank world too because they have a lot of uses. They're a great little pump, but they do have their limitations. And there are lots of other different styles of pumps that you can find covered in our other videos within this playlist. Um, but these are really good for certain purposes in the aquarium. The other cool thing with these is that you can make a few little additions to them and you can turn them into a pretty good random flow generator, especially for small nano aquariums. So the way I like to use these pumps are for several things. Um, the main one is they're really good for mixing salt water, especially when they're in the power head configuration. You can just put it in your salt water bucket, plug it in, let it mix the uh, salt in the water thoroughly. The other reason that I like these, especially the little ones, this is just a little Rio 50 pump and this one I've just pulled out for cleaning, but it normally just sits in my sump and it sits there just to prevent any detritus from settling down. Because the sump's quite a low flow area, detritus can sometimes settle out of the water. So by just sticking one of these little guys in there running it 24 seven, it just keeps everything in suspension and allows the filtration to, uh, to remove the media. So as a power head, the Maxi Jet is their kind of nickname now. Um, they're owned by Cobalt now and are named like the MJ Ranger pumps, but they were Marineland Maxi Jets for a long time and they've just been nicknamed that. But they are really good for creating a steady stream of flow in your aquarium. Um, the places that I find these are good for is at the back of your rock work, where you sometimes may have a bit of a dead spot. You can basically put it into the power head configuration like this and stick it onto the side of the glass at the back of the tank pointing down the back of the aquarium and they're really good at preventing any dead spots from settling behind the rock. Um, so a constant fixed flow of water is really good from these things. So the really cool thing about these multifunction pumps is that they come with all the different kind of accessories when you purchase the pump to set it up in whichever configuration you like. Um, if you want it as a power head, you get a great impeller like this that's really designed for moving a lot of water. Or if you're using them as a pump to move water from point A to point B, you can get a smaller impeller and a different housing that works really well for connecting pipes to. So in the configuration for moving water from point A to point B, these work really good. Um, you can just have them used internally in the aquarium or externally. They're really good for setting up to move media through a reactor, whether that pump is sitting in the tank and pumping out to something like a carbon reactor with a small pump with a small flow. Or you can get the larger maxi jet uh, with a higher flow rate for things like a bio pellet reactor where you need the pellets to tumble. Um, so just by selecting the power head to match the flow that you want, you can get them working really efficiently with the media. They are really cool for use as a pump for an automatic top off. Um, some systems don't come with pumps, um, so these little maxi jets are really good. Um, the, the way I like them is that they have uh, the ability to pump up to six feet of head height. So you can have this sitting down in a five gallon uh, old salt water bucket with your fresh water in there and it can pump way up over to the top of your aquarium for topping off if you don't have a sump. So they work really good for that and that's another reason why I like the little maxi jets. If you want to use this pump as a random flow generator, um, what I've done in the past is instead of having it in the power head configuration, I've got it in the utility version like this. And on the end of it, 
I've just gone and stuck a rotating nozzle. And that works really good. It kind of creates the swirling effect of water. So it creates a bit more of a random flow. The problem with using it in this pattern is that it's a very narrow stream of water that's coming out. So by adding that random flow generator, you can um, create the random flow. The nice thing about these multifunction pumps is that they're cost. You can get like small ones like this from about five bucks on Amazon, and they go up to about 50 bucks for the, uh, for the larger maxi jet sizes. They range anywhere from about 50 gallons per hour for these little ones, up to about 300 gallons per hour for the big ones, uh, with various sizes in between. So you can always find one to fit the aquarium size that you have. Now some people ask, well how do I use these as kind of a pair, like a, a master and a slave, so one's on, then the other, then one, then the other. And there is a cool little gadget from JBJ called the Ocean Wave Duo. And what it is, is like a small timer and you can plug two pumps into it and you can set the, um, the on interval for up to six minutes. And what it'll do is it'll run each pump separately for six minutes so it will run one pump for six minutes turn that off turn the other one on for six minutes or whatever time you set on the dial and it works really good you set two pumps opposite each other in the aquarium you get one going this way one going this way one going this way one going this way and it helps to create a bit of movement in the aquarium they are good but they're not designed to be run like that so don't have them shutting on and off um, you know every 10 seconds or something because you'll just wear them out prematurely you're gonna run them, run them for at least a minute one way, then a minute the other, minute one way, just to help prolong the life of the pump. So the pumps are really good, they're really small, really cheap. You can use them for multiple applications, but on larger tanks, they're not really very good. It'd be like, you know, throwing a bucket of water into the ocean, you're not gonna make a dent. So um, they're definitely used for tanks under about 50 gallons. Um, they do have that small narrow stream if you're using them in this configuration, but by putting that rotating nozzle on it, you can make them a useful pump that way. So that leads me on to this video's beginner tip. And these suction cups, they're horrible. They will suck for a little while and then just let go. And you'll come home one day and you'll find your tank is just completely like a sandstorm. Because this pump is now pointing directly at your sand bed and sand has gone everywhere. So they really, they really are horrible. I hate these suction cups. So there is kind of two options. One is use the clip to hang it on the side of your aquarium. This does work a bit better, but it's still not the best. The way that I found to be the best is you can buy a magnetic clip retrofit kit, which you can find in the video notes below. You can find the link in there. And these are basically replacement for your suction cups and they are just magnets that go in your aquarium. But you do have to do a little bit of DIY to get them to fit to your clamp. But it's really easy. You can just go on there and you can either glue them straight on or you can put in a little nylon bolt into there and super glue that into the, the magnetic cup and get the three of them, put them on and then it's not gonna go anywhere. And that works really well. So the multifunction pumps are really good for their specific uses. But if you want a really good power head, then I definitely recommend you check out my comparison video because I go through all the different types of power head pumps that you can get, which ones are good for which applications. And by the time you finish watching that, you'll know exactly what kind of power head to get and you'll be ready to go and buy it. I'll see you next time.